Okay, in my last video, we looked into how we could use our smartphone as a display so we could send display values to our smartphone from our microcontroller. So I had a pot, so it was 0 to 3.3 .3 volts into the ADC, had a push button, and had a temperature sensor. So we could send this data to our smartphone using an HC06 Bluetooth module. And my pot right now, 4095, so it's seeing 3.3 .3 volts. So we could take it down, all the way down to zero, back up again. So next is the push button switch. You see the status. Move this out of the way. So right now it's open and it's closed. So there's our three display values. Okay, so that is one way that we could display our data from the scamp board using our smartphone. But what about if we want to control and monitor our microcontroller from a long distance like anywhere in the world. So to do that we have to go cellular and there's a lot of boards out there that could do that. There's the SIM 800 board which is GSM. Now in Canada all GSM has been shut down. That's 2G. So in Canada we have to go LTE CAT4 or LTE CAT M1. So we have to look at a SIM 7600 board which will work. But then you've got to get a custom SIM and you have to have the correct APN. So it's, it's kind of hard to get everything up and running. So I'm going to show you an easy way that we could do it using cellular. Okay, the easiest way to create a cellular link for me is to pick up an old Android cell phone. This is a Galaxy S5. And if you look on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, you could pick them up for around $60. Pretty inexpensive. And what I like about them, you could actually change the battery, unlike the new phones. So in five minutes, I could take the back off and replace the battery if needed. So now how do we connect this cell phone up to our microcontroller board? Well we're going to go wireless. We're going to use Bluetooth and, we're, and it's going to be linked to our cell phone so now we can get in to our microcontroller via cellular link. Okay I got my smartphone activated by getting a SIM card from Lucky Mobile. It's a pay-as-you-go plan and it's using the Bell network and I'm running an app called Arduino SMS. That's going to give us a link, a Bluetooth link, from the cell phone to the HC06 Bluetooth module. The output is UART into the microcontroller. So now all we have to do is write some code to get our system up and running. Okay, I got my scan board up and running. And it's powering my HC06 Bluetooth module. And I have my app running. So I'll pair it to my Bluetooth module. So we'll select my module. You can see the LED went solid. So now I'm paired to my smartphone. So we can move that out of the way. So now I have it set up. If the temperature sensor senses temperature below zero degrees C, it's going to send out an alarm. This LED in the very left will come on. It'll send a message to the Bluetooth module, which will send a signal to the cell phone and the cell phone will send a signal to my cell phone which I could be a hundred miles away so I'll spray the temperature sensor with cold spray you see the LED comes on there's my cell phone indicating I have a triggered alarm okay my cell phone was triggered it got an SMS message saying frost alarm triggered so now I could actually send the message back. I have some quick responses programmed into my uh, cell phone. So heater on, so I could turn on the heater and to simulate a heater these 16 LEDs will come on when I send that command. So I'll send heater on and I'll send it. Heater comes on. So heater is on. I get an act back saying heater is on. So I could turn the heater off. Send it. LED should go out. They're out. I get an act back saying heater is off. So now I have control over cellular link to my SCAMP3 board. Okay, here's some simple code running on the microcontroller. So if you want to send an SMS message from the microcontroller, could be any microcontroller with a UART, you send this text 
out the UART into the HC06 Bluetooth module. So you have a 10 digit phone number, a forward slash, and then your text. You send that into the Bluetooth module, it will send an SMS message to this phone number. Now to send a message back into the microcontroller, you send strings. So here are my heater on strings, I have a star at the beginning and a pound sign at the end, that's my delimiters, so it's easier to parse. So when I send this string, it matches it, and if it sees a heater on string, it will turn on the heater, and same for heater off. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on how to control by SMS text messages. Now the layout, the circuit layout of this board is the exact same as my last video on how to use your smartphone as a display. I'm using the same circuitry. So if you have a project that's in the middle of nowhere and you have cellular coverage, this is one way of doing it by using SMS text messaging.